good afternoon. I have to set up my own like kind of tripod right now. Yeah, you are the tripod. I am. Literally. Well, is it more of a quadrupod right now? A bit. Do you see what's going on below you? Is he? Oh. Is he underneath? No, he's not. We're just imagining things. Buddy, all I see is a butt. I'm surprised he hasn't chewed this. See, now that you said that, yeah, I'm he really will. Surprised. Now he's going to start doing that. See, well, he's, he's really thinking it. about he's it. He's considering chewing this. Yeah, he's really thinking oh. about it. Okay, he's found his new home. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogs. I'm currently in my pajamas, as you can see, because we had a really long day yesterday. Yesterday was Mandy's wedding shower with her and Luca, and she had this Mamma Mia themed like pool party, which was really cool. And there was this part, and we can't like play the audio of the video because it's copyrighted, but we'll show you like footage of it, where my mom, my Nana, my Auntie Shelly, and my dad all went up, and they were all doing uh, the dance to Dancing Queen, just like in the movie, how like Meryl Streep with her two friends like went up and like danced in front of everybody. It was really, really cool. So we'll show the footage of that. Everyone just loved that party yesterday, but it was like an all day thing. It was great, but now we're exhausted and I'm just gonna have a pajama day today. It's just one of those days. I'm just gonna do video research and just chill in my pajamas. I was gonna say video research and chill. Don't go in the same sentence together. It's actually, it can be relaxing sometimes depending on what I'm researching because if the topic's really scary, then I'm not chill. Then I'm just scared. That's my life. Literally, I'm on my like eighth year of YouTube and I still get scared from like most of what I do research. I'm still for. getting used to you just screaming at your computer and that's how I know you're doing research. It's the so, fact that I like scream. Yeah, so scary. Yeah, so scary. Anyway, so I have a good talk about the title of today's video. We're going to be looking through the cat in the hat book to try and find thing three because apparently according to the legend there is a thing three but he's only put in the illustrations for kids and adults and parents are not supposed to see him but if a kid happens to point him out to their parents bad things happen apparently thing three will show up in your house it'll be hiding somewhere it'll destroy things it'll ruin your room like make it all messy and stuff you know you it's sounding a lot like we have thing three right about there this might be thing three I think it is. But I wanted to buy the book because I know it's a creepypasta, but I was reading so many reviews and comments about people who have seen Thing 3 in this book, even from subscribers, which is crazy to me. But I feel like we're over the age of children and we probably won't be able to see him even if he is in here. So we're gonna be relying on you guys. We're gonna look through these pages and we're gonna see if we can find things. So is this like a trickster for kids sort of deal since we're adults, our eyes just can't see it anymore? Maybe, just like how you can only hear a certain like sound level. But that's just because our ears are old and like decrepit and you know, we're just so old now. My eyes are old too though. I can't see anything anymore. Everything about me is just old. My bones hurt. This got really depressing. What are we doing? <laughs> Complaining about our age is what we're doing. Anyways, before we open this book and try and find thing three, I just want to say a huge thank you to Carol Winters for sending us super thanks. We didn't get any other questions this week, but thank you so much, Carol. I also have a really exciting announcement. Remember how a couple videos ago we showed you our new store called Peculiar Place? Well, we finally have a date that we're doing our grand opening and a meet and greet, so I'll be there to meet all of you guys who come. It's completely free. There's no tickets. There's no charges for entry. It's just a store that we really want you guys to come to and see and then I'll be there to meet you. I'll be so, there, but I'll just be like hiding in a corner. I will be there too. Staring at people. So for all of my subscribers in Ontario and if you're anywhere else, but that would be, you know, a lot of traveling. Up to you though. I'd be happy to see anyone who comes. If you're in Ontario, we're doing this in Orangeville, Ontario and we're gonna put the address right on the screen here. There will be a page on our website that will have more information going up on Monday, I believe. And also on my Instagram, I'll be giving more information, but this is the address that the store will be at. Well, it is there right now, but that's where No, I it keeps be. running around quite a fair bit, actually. It's really hard to pin down. Yeah, so July 23rd, that is the date that I'll be there. Opens at 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. And I have like varied meet and greet hours that I'll be there, but that'll be on the website as well. So I hope to see you guys there, especially if you're in Ontario. Please come and see Orangeville, Ontario. Very exciting. Anyway, let's look for thing three. Is that really necessary? It is. My knees really hurt today. You can't just stand? 
It's too hard. So we have the cat in the hat book and we're just gonna give you a, a really good close up here, which is why my face is not in it. But what was so interesting is that I looked at the back. I didn't know there was a second cat in the hat book. The cat in the hat comes back. Did you guys know that? I thought there was one and one only and this was like the cat in the hat. Well, there was a third one and it was the cat in the hat claps back, but people oh. weren't really happy with the insults being slung in that book. There's too much tea in that one. Yeah. Okay, so apparently according to the legend, you only can see thing three after the cat in the hat comes to, uh, what are their names again? Sally and Billy or something? Conrad, right? It's Conrad. Anyway, they're waiting for the cat in the hat because they're, they're bored. He comes in and then he's like trying to entertain them. They're talking to the fish, da da da. So we're trying to find the part where he brings in the big red box with thing one and thing two. It's actually like almost more than halfway through the, the book already. So here he comes, he's coming in with the box and you're supposed to spot thing three after he opens the box. So he's just talking about what's in there. I feel like this book is a lot longer than I thought. I know, it is really long, eh? Okay, so here he is opening the box. There is thing one and thing two. So. From this page onward, apparently thing three is hiding somewhere. It could be behind furniture. It could be like just an eye poking out of somewhere. So definitely look carefully because we can't see it apparently. So if you guys see it, let us know. Comment down below. This is when we see it and we like freak out. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be recording for much longer if that were the case. I need to protect our room from being messed up. But like, what if it's actually a thing? Like the artist like hid him somewhere. That'd be funny. Well, a lot of artists did do that. In the creepypasta, the mom saw him hiding behind the chair and we can't see that. Can you? And don't trick us in the comments. This is when all of them are gonna be like, oh, I see it. Here's another page we got. Pictures flying around, things being flung off the wall. And the creepypasta, she saw it behind the bed. There's another page. They just seem really annoying. I don't know why thing one and thing two are supposed to help the situation. So she also saw him in the window in the story. So after they capture thing one and thing two, apparently it's done for and he leaves. So here's Conrad trying to get them and then captured. So after this page, there wouldn't be a thing three, I wouldn't imagine. But um, yeah, comment down below if you see anything strange. I used anything to love this book. Three. Anything three. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Anyways though, I just wanted to get this book in general because I love this book. So is that gonna go on the bookshelf? It might have to. See, whenever you show anybody on Instagram your bookshelf of all the books you read and then there's just the cat in the hat in there. Wait, isn't Dr. Seuss canceled? There were some uh, not so good things yeah. that have been- We don't uh, vibe with that. Yeah. We vibe with creepypastas, which is why I got this. We don't vibe with people. And from what I know, I don't think any of the bad stuff was in this book yeah, particularly. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because if he did a lot of bad things, then we don't vibe with him. No. Anyways though, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let us know if you saw anything. And please guys, if you're able to come to meet me on July 23rd, I would love to see you. And all the information will be coming out on our website homepage and on my Instagram. So hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you guys.